Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're gonna to be taking a detailed look at the LEGO Ideas Motorized Lighthouse that consists of 2,065 pieces. The set is beautifully packaged with this awesome looking box right here. Inside the box, there are the parts to accommodate 13 different building stages, and there are also two instruction manuals. The first instruction manual is gonna teach you a little bit about lighthouses right here, a beacon of safety with some images of some awesome looking lighthouses. And then we can learn about the Fresnel lens. LEGO went through a bunch of different prototypes to create the awesome lens that allows this lighthouse to work in a very authentic nature. Also, we can meet the fan designer who is Sandro right here. And you can see some pictures of his family in front of lighthouses. And there's actually a really cool Easter egg inside the set that represents some of those pictures. And then of course you can meet the LEGO design team that sort of brought this from the LEGO Ideas project to its final product, which is right here. And then we have the different building stages in instruction manual number one, which covers building stages one through five. They actually switched the orientation of instruction manual number two, sort of more vertical to accommodate the taller structure. And there are our final building stages ending in 13 right there. Well, obviously this Lego set comes with something very desirable and that is a new base plate color. This is a 32 by 32 base plate in dark blue. Oh my gosh, I wanna do my whole ocean in that color, but this base plate only comes in this set. We have seen this boat before, but I'm not sure if we've seen it in white. It comes with a little kitty cat there, a compass, a bucket, and also a chain, and has a sticker element on the end with the name Alita. You start by building the foundation of the lighthouse, which consists of a bunch of rocks, and included in that is a bunch of rock panels. However, these rock panels are very nicely blended in here with the use of a whole bunch of different slopes, cheese wedges, angled pieces, and some various colors as well, such as light gray, dark tan, and sand green. Although there are rectangular rock pieces in there, I think it looks great because look at the way some of these slopes are mounted vertically using snot bricks. It looks fantastic. Also note, sand green bamboo elements. I don't think I've ever seen those before. That's pretty nice. I also like these dark green leaves that are creeping up the side of the lighthouse. Right here, this is pretty cool. Most of your electronics are hidden inside here and the battery box that powers those electronics is right there. So if your batteries run out of juice, guess what? You can just grab a little screwdriver, undo that, pop six more AA batteries in there and boom, away you go. You don't really have to take apart your lighthouse to replace the batteries, which is absolutely fantastic. Coming around this side here, we have the switch mechanism hidden inside this cave, and this is actually what powers up your lighthouse, which has lights and also a spinning mechanism. So I like how they were able to conceal that lever right there inside this cave, and there's also a little bat right there and a treasure chest as well. And inside that treasure chest, there are some gems of various colors. A lot of people were saying that they didn't like the rectangular rock pieces, but you know what? It's actually one of my favorite pieces to use. It's a way to create a nice strong structure. And as long as you blend it in correctly, I think it looks pretty good. I like the addition of the cave as well with the nice arched entryway. And it just is a nice clever use of all of those different pieces there to hide that trigger mechanism and also hide your electronics within the square base of the lighthouse. The dark blue base plate also has some trans clear elements going around the base of the rock structure there just to add a little bit of water detail. We've got some cheese slopes and some tiles. It comes with a seagull, so that's always good. We also have a boat anchor right there, a fish in a bucket, and then this beautiful stone staircase leading up to the lighthouse. I really like the angle that they were able to achieve right here. It also has a really nice combination of profile bricks, smooth tile finish, and studs. As we make our way up the staircase there, the lighthouse keeper invites us into his lighthouse quarters. I really like the little building here. It was a pretty simplistic design, but it looks really nice. They use the one by one tan tiles and also the one by two tan ingots. It is a little bit tricky to get these to line up perfectly. As you can see, some of mine have tilted at a slight angle there, but it looks really good and adds a nice texture to the building. Also, I really like the use of the dark red elements there to create the nice slope roof. And there is a printed curved tile element right there saying Aurora Point. Around back, you can see that there is a cable running into there. That's because the electrical components also make their way into the lighthouse quarters there and they allow us to light up the fireplace within. We have a nice chimney on the outside of this building right here. And I also really love the use of the white profile bricks. 
This is a really nice looking structure here. The roof very easily pops off. It's held on by two 1x4 jumper tiles. The roof is a unique build, very simplistic, but it has lots of good use of elements there to create a lot of detail. Outside we have some more details as well that look pretty phenomenal. We've got the dark green window frames and that matches the dark green door. And that can of course open up and you can lead down the hallway to the base of the White House. Inside the Lighthouse Keeper's quarters, there's all sorts of details, such as the little desk with the map, there's the clock, utensils and teapot, a fireplace with some wood, a fish mounted to the wall, and also an Easter egg of the set designer right here. It's Sandro and his family on a 2x3 printed tile. And that's mounted above that bed there where there's a little side table as well. Now there are actually two light up features in this set. We'll talk about the Lighthouse one right away here. But look at this, the fireplace also lights up. And in the dark, that fire just looks magnificent. It just makes the interior of that building glow, especially when you open up that door. The light really shines through. It looks absolutely fantastic. Okay, so let's have a look at the lighthouse functions itself. Look at that. It rotates and lights up, and that is a new lens element in there, which is the front L lens, the one that they went through a bunch of different prototypes to create. That is quite the mechanism. I'll show you that in one moment. The lighthouse itself looks phenomenal. I love how it tapers upward. We've got some windows there which are nicely framed using some of those wheel well elements. And the lighthouse has a nice texture to it. It's got some studs, it's got some slide elements, some smooth elements, and it just looks really good on the base of it. We've got some rocks creeping up the side and also some plant life creeping up the side as well. I really like the overall design of like the cylinder part leading up to the actual front L lens. Nice large dish element on the top of the lighthouse here, topped with this nice sword. And then we have our lens in here, which is nicely enclosed by these garage door elements. These are the panels that you would most likely see in Lego city sets, such as the fire and police stations. We also see an interesting use of these in the assembly square set to create a nice front glass display. The front L lens is rotating in there, and you can see that is encased by this black flex tubing right here to create a guardrail around the top of the lighthouse. And there's a little mechanism right here that can actually open up. You can very easily remove the garage door element and top to reveal your interior functions. Now the cables that power that light there and the Technic axle that drives the Technic gear are actually buried within the side panels of the lighthouse. Now all of the panels of the lighthouse can be very easily removed, specifically these ones right here which reveal a little bit of interior detail. You can see there's a wrench and there's also a ladder there which will lead up to the top. Right here we have a two by three sticker element just right there. Once again, those windows and some ladder elements and this will go right down to the base. You'll be able to remove all of these panels, which is pretty cool because there's some accessibility and you can sort of leave them open like the box displays it actually. You see they have the lighthouse keeper actually climbing the ladder. And when we remove these panels on this side, it exposes those electrical wires that run to the top of the lighthouse. And on this side here, you can see the Technic axles that lead up to the top of the lighthouse. And those, of course, power the rotation. And of course, the star of the show with this set is the light function. When the lights are dimmed or off, it looks absolutely fantastic. I did not look into this set and I had no idea that the lighting mechanism was actually that sophisticated with the front L lens and the mirror and the reflected light. And I didn't know that there was a light also inside the building. I think that's absolutely phenomenal. The power functions are just next level and it looks really good. This set is awesome. Overall, I think that this set is Awesome. It's more than I expected. It's going to look great in the LEGO City. Yes, the price is a little bit high, but once again, it comes with all of those electrical components, which really jacks up the price. But I'm really glad that they included those because the light mechanism is just over the top. So you wouldn't want to have this without those electrical components. Let us know what you think of the set by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And farewell.